Here's your perfect tribe checklist. And what I mean by that is you want to get a yes for every one of these answers. And if you don't get a yes, you need to keep looking for a new tribe. As I've done this more and more, I've realized that if you get even one no from any of these checklists, you're going to be really struggling. Okay, so just be honest with yourself. One, they have to have urgent problems that they know of. They have to know of their urgent problems. Two, they have to have known desires. So for instance, once again, going back to my example, don't you want to be authentic? <laughs> what? They don't know what that means, right? So they have to have known desires. They have to be willing to take responsibility for their own life. Ah, they have to be willing to take responsibility for their own life, meaning even though you want to save them, you cannot. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have to know that they must take responsibility. How many of you have worked with people that don't take responsibility? Raise your hands. Keep your hands raised if you would like to sh go to the dentist instead. <laughs> right? <laughs> I <laughs> got a dentist, right? You know, this is not an imperative one, but I've actually found it's a pretty good one. So raise your hand if you have attended other events before today. Raise your hands. So look around, you guys, right? Everybody in the room falls pretty much. Has anybody not attended? Is this their very first event ever? Cool, so two of you guys. Awesome, but that just goes to show you, right? Give them a round of applause, right? That majority has, though. You know, you guys are the outliers. Good for you guys. I'm proud of you. People that have attended events are the ones you want to go after. So if you're going after people that aren't accustomed to going to events, training them to go to events is tough. You want to genuinely like them. I'll tell you that I have coached a lot of people who are being very successful and they can't stand the people they work with. And you know what? You burn out. So either you need to figure out a way to find a way to like them, which can be some internal shifting, or you can stop fighting and find a new tribe. Because I'll tell you, if you have ever had success with anybody, you can have success with a new tribe. Period. If you've ever had success with anybody, you can find another tribe to be successful with. It's guaranteed. And I'll tell you, the more you love the people you work with, the better results you'll get. But the more you feel like, man, these whiny ass people. Oh, uh, welcome to my seminar. Let me help you. Right? At a certain point, you're like, you'll burn out from it, right? So you have to genuinely like them. They have to be ready to learn and grow right now. What I mean by that is that there's plenty of people who are like, yeah, I could do that sometime goes back to the urgent problems, but I just want to say it in a different way. They've got to be ready right now. And then they have to have the money to invest. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on this right now because I'm going to talk about it later, but here's what I want you to know. If they meet all six of the first criteria, they have number seven met as well. People will bend and stretch to invest in your programs if it strikes a deep enough chord and if you are excited enough about helping them, period. So anything else that anybody tells you about healers not having any money or people being broke, that's a mindset BS. Mindset stuff. All you got to do is let that little part of your brain go, thank you for sharing, I'm not paying attention to it. And stand strong in your own value. Now remember, your tribe is just like you. And what I mean by that is that you guys have similar energies, similar languages, similar desires, similar problems but you're just one step ahead. That's all you have to be, one step. Now, I always say this because I think it's a really good awareness point. Do you think that after these three days, all of you will be one step ahead of a lot of people in their businesses? Do you see how you might not have considered this, but you very well could go home right after this retreat and start saying to people, I can help you with some things in your business. That's why I keep telling you guys, if you want to take this and use this, take it and use it. Because you can find very quickly that you will go home and this will be a new revenue generation source that you might even love more. 
You want to know why I say that? Because there's nothing that's more fulfilling than helping people to live their purpose and make money doing it. That's just the truth. I love that. I love it. It's satisfying. It's fulfilling. And when somebody comes to me and they say, I helped all these people and I made all this money. And gosh, it was so cool because I got to like be myself. So awesome. So fulfilling. So you're one step ahead. And I want to remind you to go narrow and deep. You know, and this is just my philosophy. I just want you to hear this. There are plenty of people out there who will disagree with my narrow and deep strategy. But I have found, as somebody who has is building a business, that starting narrow and deep is much easier and more effective. And then you can expand. Narrow and deep means you focus narrowly and deeply on a specific person that has specific problems, that's really like specific, specificity, specificity. 